What's good, my dudes, dudettes, and folks of other dispositions? You can call me Nick. <laughs> I've got a lot of energy today. Uh, we're back at it again with Fire Emblem. And last episode, I believe, yeah, we got Ninus's Grace back for Nils and Ninian. So we're going to push on. We, uh, we'll see what, what we have in store for us. Obviously, uh, more combat, because that's apparently just the way that the world is in this game. So... Let's go, we can overcome it. Let's jump right in. Passing through Arafen and Cathalet, Lynn and her friends arrive in Kaelin. However, Kaelin is now under the rule of Lord Lundgren. Lundgren's henchmen lay in wait to assassinate Lynn. They wait for her approach and ready a special weapon. What could it be? What sort of mechanical device would they have at this vortex of strategy? Here we are. Look, Nick. The mountain seems so far away. We've come such a long way. My Lady Lindis, Nick! We can't be very far from the castle now. By my... Blah, blah. blah. <laughs> Getting back into it. <laughs> By my reckoning, we can reach Castle Kaelin in two days. If we hurry. Two more days. Hold on, Grandfather. Please. Cheer up, Lynn. If they see you looking so sad, the entire company will lose heart. Florina. You're right. There's nothing to be gained by worrying. We just have to press onward. That's the spirit. Oh, I like how they all just, they all play off each other and, uh... Um... What's the word? Encourage each other? That's just awesome. Uh, uh that... Crap's awesome. <laughs> Swear less. Lynn, danger approaches. What did you say? I don't see anything. Are you sure? I feel it too. I'm sure of it. Ah, milady, don't move. Hmm? Dun, 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 dun. What in the? Where did this bolt come from? They have a ballista. Lord Lundgren is getting serious. Deploying siege engines is no mean feat. What is a ballista? It's a weapon designed for long-distance attacks. Only archers can use them, but they can be devastating. Florina, you must stay aground! Do not take to the air, my lady. <laughs> However those kinds of people talk. <laughs> the ballista would target you in an instant. <laughs> is there a way to combat it? The safest course is to use someone with good defense as bait so the enemy wastes arrows. Then you can walk up and knock the fuel on the head. Will, can you use a ballista? I've never tried, but it's just a really big bow, right? I should be able to figure it out. All we can ask is that you try. Let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, Lady Linda, Nick, uh, I have some minor business to attend to. I'm unable to join you. If you need any possessions, please take them now. Sure thing, uh... Matthew. Um, I don't think we do need anything. Alright, yeah, prep time, prep time. I'll let you know what I do in the end, but I'm gonna go silent. Okay, so these are our units for the game. Um, instead of talking about the ones I did select, I'll talk about why I didn't select these two. So, um, on this map here, what we're dealing with is someone who can hit pretty much the entire map, uh, and then we have to make our way through this choke point. So it's very important that we hit hard and fast. The best counter to archers are cavalry units. Um, so I'm actually bringing Wrath on this one as well, so we can really just get in there and eliminate the threat so that our other units can advance. Um, I did bring Florina as well just because uh, she can stay out of this range. We'll tuck her in right here and then dart in when it's safe. Um, the reason why I picked only one magic user is because basically because of this archer still as well. Uh, they don't have very good defense, um, but I do think that the best uh, person to take these two on would be the magic user, uh, Lucius in this case, over Eric. Um, and I'm not actually bringing Sarah on this one, uh, just because we are well stocked on vul vul vulneraries, and once we make our way here, we'll be able to use these fortresses to heal uh, as we take out the last guy. So as long as we can take on the initial assault, of these cavalry units and that sort of stuff. 
then we should be fine. So that's uh, that's the overall strategy there. Uh, nothing really new on trading. I gave Wrath the short bow back so he's able to combat. Um, what else? What else? Uh, formation, of course. We need to do formation real quick. Uh, Lucius is going to dart into those trees. Nils, i not, not sure what I want to have you do yet. I do want to put the fighter at the front so he can move fast and then have Nils uh, play for him in the end. So, what is it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I could put him there. If, if, I, if I put Dorcas here, I can slip Nils into these trees and then the archer will probably go for Nils. Um, <laughs> uh, cavalry units, of course. Uh, but if we if we aren't using the entire movement, we can go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And so we can have one cavalry unit at the front. We're gonna make it sane. He does more damage. Um, <laughs> that looks good to me. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I probably forgot something. Let's go. Save it. Start it. <laughs> okay, let's start with what I was gonna do. Nils will get shot at, but he'll survive at least one hit, so that'll be good. Alright, Dorcas, where do we want to put you next? Um, I know this guy's a sword guy, but he can take it, so, what do these guys have, lances? These guys have lances, I'm gonna just go for it here, maybe. What's your speed? Eight. Uh, six? Okay. Yeah, should I just send Dorcas to bait them all in and, and get them around these trees? He's going to be a little hurt, but it looks like we can't retreat. We'll be able to pick him up with Florina if we need to. Yeah, we're going to risk it. We're going to go for it. You're right behind him, after all. Uh, you're coming in as well. We could rescue Nils, but I think, I think distracting the archer is a good move. You'll be just fine right here. Those magic users won't be able to touch you with your high resistance. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da. Da -ba -da -da. Let's tuck Lynn there so Will can go here. And Florina, let's make sure you're not getting shot at. Uh, I did forget the shop. Might as well have you check it out. Uh, I do need a bow for Wrath. And I don't need anything else. Nope. Right here was where it was. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna go back one space just in case. Bring it out. Like the bite of a flea. And of course, the lance user. Ooh! Quicker than he looks, isn't he? Yep, called it. That high resistance coming in handy. Ooh, we got a double even. Although I am going to be low on lightnings after this. <laughs> the tool is useless if you don't use it after all, so I guess I'll have to deal with it. Yeah, when it comes to magic users, it seems like uh, light magic is the fastest, while dark magic is uh, the strongest. And there's kind of an in-between with the anima mages. Okay, uh, this guy's still active, so Florina's best move. Probably just to stand by for rescue if we really need her. Um, everyone can get involved here. You're still looking pretty good, and most of these guys are lance users after all. Lynn can't get in yet, but that's fine. And in fact, we're gonna move Sane up 
first, I believe. Mm, no. We gotta cut down the sword guy first in order to get any leeway, so... That guy's almost dead, that guy's almost dead, this guy's almost at full health. So that's the one I want to go for with Wrath. Okay, here's what I want to do. Iron Lance here. Um, now Sane can tuck in and hit those back guys. Uh, should I just Dorcas this? Be exposed. Um, how far can Wrath go? Oh, that's right. I want Wrath to go where Dorcas is. Uh, and I want Dorcas to push forward. A lot of things to consider. Do I want Lin up there? Not really. There's a lot of uh, a lot of art or a lot of uh, spears. <laughs> Shoot, I'm trying to blank too because uh, I know the pressure's on. Some people are watching. Here, I know this guy. Go move there. <laughs> Uh, ha, 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 ha. And I don't like cutting things out. I like to provide the, the full general or genuine experience. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Send it. Do the thing that you know how to do. Okay, get Dorcas killed. Fine, go here. <laughs> Push forward with Sane. I could go for the back guys. Say nice! It didn't matter, but nice! <laughs> Still a 3% chance on the crit. Alright, and the reason why I wanted everyone out of the way was so that I could um, play either Lin or Will, but to be honest, I kind of want to play Kent instead to push him forward. Um, I guess it, it kind of depends on whether or not this hits. Because I do want to take out this archers. Archers are, are pretty... Uh, dangerous. Uh, 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 um. Hmm. And now I have that horseman. I mean, what's he gonna do, really? What's he really gonna do? Yeah, I'm comfortable with this. We're gonna push Lin forward here, play with Nils, except that's not really where I wanted to put Nils. And it's funny because if I, if I didn't point out my mistakes, then nobody would even notice, but... But, uh... That's just how the brain works, you know? That's just how the old brain works. Advance. Um, and then... Looks like we don't really need to rescue anybody, Lorena, so just chillax on that river. What are you curs waiting for? They're nothing but fleas! Call up for reinforcements and rush them! Oh, the archer's running away? Okay. I wanna do damage, eh? Dorcas, you got that speed, baby! More speed! Let's go! A fast fighter! That's great. That means he's gonna be doing damage galore. Oh no, what am I going to do? Two damage on my archer horse. <laughs> nice dodge, Nils. You're not even in trees. Okay. Um, if I do this... Yeah, this is exactly what we're going to do here. Um, I don't want... 
just need to get the XP on that one, but I do want him to advance so I can get him to that archer. Or the ballista, rather. Charge. Yeah, you can double on this guy all you want. <laughs> just crit him instead. Sane! <laughs> he's, he's so lucky. What the hell? Alright. I mean, heck. I mean... Uh... Ah, the delicate, delicate balance of watching what you say. Uh, I mean, we just got this archer guy left. He's kind of... No wonder he's running away. Um, he's kind of over... Uh out of his league here. Um, why do you have an iron bow? Oh, because I bought it. That's right. So in that case, yeah, I do want him to get that. Dorcas, go ahead and get that kill. You deserve it. Gotta take good care of your fighters so they can fight. So what I want to do here is bring you up to the river so Florina can both give you the bow. Nope, not that one. And then make a presence on those fortresses, which we didn't have enough movement for anyways. That's okay. Can't have your cake and eat it too. Who's gonna reach? Start from here. Who am I missing? Lucius, that's right. You're visiting the village. Do you remember the weapon triangle? Oh, trust me, old man, I do. Axes over lances, yeah, it's important. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm listening, don't worry. Uh, yeah, I totally, totally didn't miss that, uh, axe reavers and, and lance reavers and sword reavers are a thing. Uh, yeah, now I was listening. <laughs> oh, what? What was he talking about? <laughs> so, <laughs> what he basically said was that there are weapons that reverse the weapon triangle. Um, like this guy's Axe Reaver, uh, strong against axes, which is, it's a lance that's strong against axes, so it, it totally just flips it, uh, and each of these guys have one, so Sword Reaver, Lance Reaver, he has an Axe Reaver, those guys have normal weapons, yeah, so going against these guys, you'll have to flip it in your head, uh, hello, little, ho er, little uh, warrior guy, um, we do have some troops coming in here, what are they, Iron Lancers? Let's sit on a fortress with Florena so we can stop one of them. Um, I mean, levels Dork is six. Is there a... There we go. By level, please. Uh, who needs the XP, really? Everyone's pretty good. They're pretty balanced, which is always a good thing. Um, which means, yeah, might as well just Dorcas, st stick Dorcas at the front, uh, as per usual, and let them come to us. That guy can't quite reach us. But, oh, you can reach Florina, though. Flor Florina. Saying you can handle that guy, right? It's not gonna be a big deal. Put the damage didn't it hurt nobody. Let's step around here so we can crowd this choke point. Oh, he was blocking the way a little bit. Alright, Lynn. Um, that fighter might come for you now, but you still have a sword, right? Oh, you have a lance. Good thing cavalry units can get in there and change people's inventories and then move right back out. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that's right. Will's going to the ballista, but we don't want to mess with that fighter. And now I put our archer there in his range. So what I am going to do... Reach him here with Nils. Bards are extremely useful, uh, even though they literally just play music. There, now you can't hurt anybody.
let's freaking go. Oh, uh, do we miss Lucius? Yeah. Too quick for you. And the double. Very nice. Yeah, I know. She's tougher than she looks, though. I think she looks pretty tough. <laughs> and because we're sitting on a fortress, we'll get some health back as well. So even though this guy's also coming at us, I'm not too worried. Yeah, their crit chance is zero, so I'm not too worried. I think crits are three times damage in this game. Sometimes it's different, but there's the help. Um, and I don't know if more units are coming or not. Oh, yeah, they did come, but because she's blocking one of them. When you sit on a fortress that's spawning reinforcements, uh just so happens that they don't spawn after that, so. Alright, which of you do I want to take out with the Ballista is my next question. Um, we have a lot of swords, we have one axe, we have a couple lances. Um, the big guy has an axe reaver, which means Lin's going to be the one to take him out with the Manny Caddy, probably. I probably don't want to shoot the big guy anyways. I probably want to shoot one of these front guys so I can take out the other one themselves. You can reach that woods. So let's go with the... Let's take out this Axe Reaver here at the top right, or top left, rather. Ah, uh, we missed. <laughs> okay. It's not the end of the world. We could just wait a turn and try again. Mm, let me just think about this real quick, because it is a... It is a... You kind of got to flip what you know. Okay, our solution is the sword. <laughs> our solution is we use a sword. Do I want to use Lin? Okay, here's what I want to do. We'll put Lin and the trees down there next turn. Hell, we can do it now. Yeah, we should be good there. Florina, stay put on that fortress. Yeah. Bring it on. Can't touch my hero. fast enough to not warrant a double. But is he fast enough to dodge my axe? Well, hold on. That guy can reach. I'll put someone in front of him. Take this. Yeah, Sword Reaver, which means we should go with a Lance. Kent, you're at full HP. Let's put you up at the front with your Iron Lance. And wait. Just wait it out, buddy. Uh, 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 um, I do want Lin to go for the boss. Let me just... I'm not going to do it now, but let me see what it looks like. Yeah, that should do. We'll be fine. Uh, let's get Lucius in on this. Just in case. I did forget about the ballista. B -b 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 ballista. A little scatterbrain today, I can tell. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, can't hit every shot, Will. You tried your best. 
It's his first time in a ballista, you know, you gotta understand. Uh, nobody came out of this, right? We might as well just have her wait there. Nice work, Kent. Oh, reliable. Steady and sturdy. These are Lund Lord Lundgren's best, then, uh... Well, maybe they're not his best. Get a little like speed in mills real quick. And there is a fast-forward button that I've purposely been avoiding this entire time. Curses! The ballista must have been taken! What's going on here? Somebody get that girl! Because I like to take games at their pace. Deal with it. <laughs> Lord Lundgren, I failed you. I pray you hurry with those reinforcements you promised. Good level. Is it over? Yes, I see no more enemy soldiers. However, something is bothering me. What is it? I noticed it during the fighting. Our opponents, they were soldiers of Kaelin. I even recognized some of those we fought. I trained with many of them. And yet they attacked us without hesitation. We kind of attacked back without hesitation, so... They're black-hearted traitors who joined Lord Lundgren. Good riddance, I say. It also means less resistance at the castle. I hope you're right. I'm just glad Nils and Ninian were with us. If that first shot had hit me, I might not have survived. We are honored to have served you well. We won't let you down! I know. I'm relying on you. What's this? You dealt with the ballista too? Nicely done. Matthew, where were you during all this? I went to the village to sniff out for information. I got some interesting news for my trouble too. Let's hear it. First about Mark, Mark has Kalen's illness. He really is unwell. He's been abed for on the night for three months. Oh no. Grandfather. I heard an interesting rumor about his condition, though. The people believe that someone's being poisoning the Marquess. He's being poisoned? And this someone... Well, everyone's too afraid to mention a name. However, they say that as soon as the Marquess took ill, a certain noble took control of the castle as though it was his, his own. I fed an, a hungry innkeeper... <laughs> I fed a hungry innkeeper some coin and he fed me a name. The Marquess of Kalen's own brother, Lord Lundgren. How can this be? How can they allow him to get away with this? The villagers know he's the one poisoning my grandfather, and yet no one raises a hand against him? Why? They are afraid, and they lack poo proof. The whisperings of the common people means nothing. That's the truth of it, and if, if the, of the Marquess's loyal retainers who might have lent credence to these rumors, there is no sign. Are you saying they've been silenced? It's a fair assumption. This is beyond believing. The worst news is yet to come. What? There's more? An imposter has appeared, claiming to be the Marquess's granddaughter. At least that's the story Lundgren's telling to all who will listen. What does that mean? It means that people are waiting for two traitorous knights and a baseborn child to appear to lay claim to Castle Kaelin. But, but the, it, it can't be! Traitors? Us? Ridiculous! He says, I'm an imposter? Don't you have anything that proves your lineage? When my mother, mother joined the Lorca, she brought nothing of Lincia with her. The lady, Marcus Arafin himself remarked at your appearance to Lady Madeline. Your face is your proof. They'll say we found a look-alike somewhere. We'll, we're seen as betrayers of our, of our knightly vows. Our word means nothing. No, our only hope is to see Marcus Kalen himself. We must hurry. If not, my grandfather... I must see him with my last breath if need be. But we must formulate some manner of plan, even if we set out for the castle. The troops patrolling the area will cause no end to problems. <laughs> you have been branded as an Oathbreakers, after all. I've got it, Elliewood. He seems sympathetic to our plight. He should still be in Cathalet if we talk to him. He might help us. Of course, a sound idea. Let's hurry! Yes, back to Cathalet.
And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much. My profound thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. You know what to do if you enjoyed the video. And next time, uh, you can expect us to meet up with Elliewood again. Um, maybe we'll get some assistance from him. Uh, we'll see what he's capable of. I'll catch you next time. Peace.